At Hoquiam's police station, they banded together with the promise to remember Deputy Daniel McCartney. His family members and friends, his brothers and sisters in law enforcement. Sunday night, January 7th, Deputy McCartney service ended. He was shot while he was responding to a home invasion. It's the call that you don't ever want to hear. Granted, he worked for Pierce County, but he was still one of ours. Hoquiam was home, where his law enforcement career started, where he was an officer for six years before transferring to Pierce County. And on this night, he was honored by some of the people who were closest to him. I have not stopped crying for two days. Photos show the dedicated deputy, the devoted dad to three young boys, the husband to Sierra. Her grandmother is now among the many grieving. He was absolutely a wonderful, wonderful man. He was someone this officer looked up to. Dan was a leader. <laughs> he set an example. So that's my plan from now on is to, to help set an example and be a leader for everyone else here and those in the community. And you know, I hope I can do half of what Dan did as an officer to recognize the sacrifice that law enforcement officers make every day. And more importantly, the sacrifice that their families make every day and every evening when the reality is they may not come back. Was blind, but now I see. And the tributes continue tomorrow. At Graham Kapowson High School, students will wear blue on Wednesday to honor fallen deputy Daniel McCartney. In Hoquiam, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.